Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso on S3, and we are back with non-profit organization, South African Guide Dogs Association, and they will be showing us how these dogs are trained and how they can assist those who are in need. Now, oh, sorry, we have Cheryl. You have got Echo okay. with you, and you're about to take us through an obstacle course because how do you go about training a dog to stop at the curb or to get them to push a lift button? That, for me, is so fascinating. <laughs> So we start with the basic commands and we teach them in a quiet, distraction-free area so that they learn without having any distractions. And then we use positive reinforcement, so it's with treats and lots of praise to get them to do what we want. So we show them what we want them to do and then when they do it, we praise them. And through time, the dogs learn that what gains, what's pleasant for them so they will repeat behavior. So if it's something nice to eat, or they're going to get praise, they will go and do the job that we've asked them to do. Okay, so we've set up a little bit of an obstacle course here, a very unique one in a very busy environment. So are you going to take Echo through... What, what, what can we get Echo to do right now? So Echo, can she will avoid obstacles. So we start initially, she'll move around them and then we'll praise. And then, but what a guide dog can also do is they can locate things. So they can find a, a bus stop pole or a chair or a person's door. So today we'll get her to find the chair at the end. Okay. So, so they learn different commands. We teach them different control commands to go forward, left, right, back. So we just give them the command and then they will respond to it. So Echo, forward. Good girl. You find the chair. Come find the chair. Come find Good girl. That's it. Not that chair. Come. This, this one. Come. Let's go find the chair. That's it. Find the chair. Yay. Good. This is the chair. Good. So when they find it, we give them the treat because we want them to find the chair. There we go. Good girl. Good girl. And she can even go underneath the chair. Come. Let's go under. Come. Go under. That's it. So this is useful on trains. You can keep them out the way. Oopsie. Sorry. Oopsie. Our is <laughs> running away. There you go. Good girl. Right. Come out, Echo. Come. Let's go. I have to there say, my first experience there ever interacting with a guide dog was when I was at university and a lot of the students had um, guide dogs assisting them um, walking into the lecture halls and even on campus. And I have to say, it is very unique. It is a very unique thing. I feel like no one really teaches you how to interact with a guide dog. Yes. Now, Andrew, Oslo is adorable. Uh, thank you. But how do you... Do you find people respect the boundaries around, you know, Oslo at the end of the day is a service dog yeah. to you. Do people respect that or is there something you would love people to know when it comes to interacting so, with Oslo? Unfortunately, they don't. And, and it's not through anything malicious on their side. They just get excited when they see, when they see a dog, a guide dog, a service dog. Um, I'm very fortunate in that I, I, I got my hands back. So I, I don't need him all the time but he is with me all the time but so I don't mind when people come and they touch him and they stroke him you'll see the signs always say don't distract and mm. um, but for someone that's completely dependent on their guide dog or service dog and um, the public need to realize that it, it's not the handler being rude it's just it's it, it's an extension of their body and they really need the dog to be focusing on them mm. because obviously they they help us out in life but uh, I, I always see it sort of that when I'm interacting in public, at least people are getting to know guide dogs and service dogs. And, um, but yeah, and Oslo loves the attention. Oh, I can't imagine. I did say hello to Oslo earlier and he's <laughs> such a good boy. <laughs> now, Cheryl, when it comes to doing anything else with, with Echo over there, he's now located the chair. What else can we get Oslo to demonstrate for us? Not Oslo, Echo. <laughs> Echo. Echo, I'm confusing the name, sorry. We, well, here yeah, we can do different turns, so she knows how to turn left and turn right. So we can do that. Yes. Come, Echo. Good. Okay. But let's pick up the treat first. Oh, that's confusing. <laughs> that treat Good. on the floor is confusing. Good. Right. Good. So she knows we've already showed you forward, so she can do a right turn. So Echo, stay. Stay. Right. Not to the chair. Good girl, that's a good girl. Good, stop, good. And she can do a back turn, so st stay, back, good. So she knows the different turns, she always, you always leave space so she can go around you in front. So if we're standing at a curb, 
So imagine the curb that's standing in front. So if you were to tell her to turn, she would have to step into the road. So we always give them space. We teach them how to do it, and then we teach the person how to do it themselves. Amazing. <laughs> and Andrew, I believe Oslo also wants to participate in the obstacle yeah. course. Yeah, so Oslo's really good at making coffee in the morning. Oh. Well, of course he can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I wish he could. He can Push play with the training. <laughs> but so a thing for me, frequently, I, I, I drop stuff out of my chair. So uh, whether it's my wheelchair cushion or keys, but I'll show you a quick demo. Oslo, fetch. Get it. Bring it. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you see, now he's waiting. He's done his job. He doesn't work for free. Uh -uh. He needs to be paid. <laughs> so we have to give him a treat. Oh, Oslo knows no one works for free. <laughs> right, Oslo? <laughs> and, then, and then this is one last feature that, or feature thing that he does. But Oslo, sit, speak, <laughs> speak, 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 speak. <laughs> speak, guys. Shame. I forget days at a time to yeah. let him speak. speak. It's still early. I said, speak. Uh, <laughs> one loud one. Speak. <laughs> oh, good one, Oslo. Try. Oh, well, Oslo and Echo, it's amazing to see what you can do. Cheryl, Andrew, thank you so much for joining us. And you can donate and be part. And also, if you want to find out more about South African Guide Dogs Association, for the blind and how they can help people in your community, visit their website, that's guidedog.org.za, or you can email info at guidedog.org.za. Thank you for joining us today. Good dog. Good boy.